This is the only video you'll need to watch about True Stretch. Today, I'll teach you how to do it, show you why you should do it, and answer any questions around if you should do it, along with showcasing my experience while trying it out myself. If you've ever played Counter-Strike, you're probably familiar with the idea of playing Stretch to make the enemies fatter, easier targets to hit, which made the game faster paced and personally more fun to play. And now, after four years, we can finally do it on Valorant. Welcome to True Stretched. Oh, whoa! So how do you lose that? Why do either of you oh, swing? Now I'm blaming that on you. So how do you lose that? Move to one pop. Come on. Valorant has had stretch resolution since the game came out, but it was never real stretch, because no matter what resolution you played on, the FOV was locked to 103. This means that the only things that would get stretched is the HUD and UI, so things like your crosshair abilities would get stretched, but not the enemies. But recently, various pros in EMEA and NA, like TENS, have figured out ways to get around this and have been using true stretch in professional VCT matches. Now I know there are a lot of questions and concerns around true stretch, so let's knock them all out now. Does true stretch affect your sensitivity? Short answer, no. Long answer, kinda. In reality, it doesn't affect your sensitivity in the sense that the amount of distance your mouse needs to travel across the mouse pad to do a full 360 will still be the same. Mine happens to be 59 centimeters for any of the aim nerds wondering. But still, on your screen, two things that used to be, say, 3 centimeters apart will now appear 3.8 centimeters apart. These numbers are made up, by the way. So in practice, it actually feels like your sensitivity is faster with you having to move your mouse less to travel more across your monitor. This definitely will take some getting used to, and after playing four years of native stretched, I definitely needed some time to orientate myself as well. I thought True Stretch wasn't allowed. Will I get banned? Well, it wasn't. Or that's what most people believed. 
including me. When the game first came out, Riot released their stance that they would be locking FOVs to ensure competitive integrity across the board, which to me never made sense even in a game like Fortnite, where they also locked FOVs. If everyone can do it, at that point, it's just a preference thing, and I've never seen anyone complain about it on CS. This stance has more recently been updated to just no use of third-party software allowed on stage. So the use of WinXP, for example, is not allowed on stage the same way Vibrant's GUI would not be allowed. But gamers being gamers, they figured out ways around this. You use like the WinXP app, if you can do it naturally through Windows without having to do it, then it's fine. What is WinXP? WinXP is a software that allows you to play Valorant in windowed mode while making it look like full screen. It removes the taskbar at the bottom and the window bar at the top and also automates the stretch process you'd have to manually do at the beginning of every game to get rid of the black bars. Is WinXP bannable? It is not. As far as I've researched, nobody has gotten banned for just using WinXP. From what I heard from other pros and rioters, they say it's not bannable, just not allowed on stage. But if you do get banned, you didn't hear this from me. Use at your own discretion. But I've tried it before, and I'm still okay. Do you have to play windowed? No. You can window or full screen for the legal way without using WinXP, but full screen version won't allow you to use the super stretchy resolutions. Does true stretch actually give you an advantage? Yes and no. It makes people fatter and easier to see, but they will also move faster across your screen than they will in native, so it balances out with them being equally hard to hit across both resolutions. How do you do True Stretched? There are ultimately three methods. Only two of them are legal in BCT Pro matches, but all three are usable in ranked. Method 1, the TENS method or the windowed method. Set screen to full screen window. Click fill, apply, windowed version, apply, display settings, set your res, click on it, yes, go back to your game, don't touch anything else, and boom. You will have to do this at the start of every game unless you use WinXP. Which brings us to method 2, WinXP. Exactly the same as TENS's method, but once you select the res you want, open up WinXP, refresh, click on Valorant, click maximize, move border, boom, you're done. This method, you don't have to keep redoing it, but this is not allowed in pro matches. Bonus question. Doesn't playing windowed mode add input delay? Answer, yes, but here's a hack. Go to graphic settings on Windows, click this box, you should notice much less input delay now, so it shouldn't be a problem. At least I didn't notice anything. Method 3. The Mystic JK method slash full screen method, or whoever actually found it. I think some French guy found it. This is what I've been using. Go to device managers, disable all of your monitors. This confuses Valorant. Haha, <laughs> hacker man. Go in video control panel, create custom resolution 1568 by 1080, apply, good. Go Valorant, full screen, boom, you're all set. You're now playing Valorant true stretched while also staying in true full screen. So that means zero added input delay from playing on native. The only caveat to this is that you cannot do any resolutions where the length to width ratio is lower than 1.45. 1568 by 1080 is 1 1.451, so this is the stretchiest you can go here. This means you cannot play reses you might prefer like 1440 by 1080 or 1280 by 960, which is what I used to play. But for now, this is stretchy enough. But try it out yourself. Let me know down in the comments below if you guys like it, if you guys don't like it, if you guys want it, if you guys don't want it, if you guys don't like it, if you guys want it, if you guys don't want it, if you guys don't want it, and if you guys want more types of videos like these. Also, I stream every day at twitch.tv. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.